what may happen in your mind happens in thousand different formats and most probably it never happens the things that you feared take 100 things that you have feared probably 99 of them never happened isn't it fear is always about something which does not exist right now it's always about what will happen so you are suffering that which does not exist if your fear is about the non existent your fear is 100% imaginary if you are suffering the non existential we call that insanity your only comfort is everybody is in the same state that's how it is in asylum usually everybody is in the same condition you cannot overcome that which does not exist you just have to give up that effort enjoy the fear after all it's your making at least you enjoy what's happening in your mind if you cannot enjoy what's happening in the world isn't it that much privilege every human being deserves isn't it so fearing the possible outcome of a certain action greatly lowers our confidence and prevents us from doing many things we might actually be capable of doing at a certain point in life we realize that there are way too many things out of our control and fear creeps in ironically most things people fear are not real but just a few steps away from reality satguru claims that once we realize the source of our fears it is possible to eliminate them would you like to know what that source is listen to satguru's explanation uh, many times uh, in my daily life uh, fear stops me from doing uh, small things and bigger things fear uh, from failure feel from uh, maybe from rejection sometimes <coughs> uh, how to overcome this fear you cannot overcome something which does not exist right now are you in fear right now that i may say something damaging <laughs> is it the fear <laughs> every moment of your life you're in fear no the fear is simply because you are not living with life you are living in your mind your fear is always about what's going to happen next that means your fear is always about that which does not exist if your fear is about the non existent your fear is 100% imaginary if you are suffering the non existential we call that insanity so people may be in just socially accepted levels of insanity but if you're afraid or if you're suffering anything which does not exist it amounts to insanity isn't it so your suffering is always about that which does not exist simply because you're not rooted in reality you're always rooted in your mind mind is one part of it is memory another part of it is imagination both of them are in one way imagination because both of them don't exist right now you're lost in your imagination that's the basis of your fear if you were rooted in reality there would be no fear so when you're not in fear just stay like that because to create fear you have to use excessive imagination to not be in fear you don't have to do anything fear is happening because of excessive imagination things that have not happened you're creating what may happen in your mind happens in thousand different formats and most probably it never happens the things that you feared take 100 things that you have feared probably 99 of them never happened isn't it yes if you are driving a car and 99% it is accidental the way you are driving will you be scared or not 
So fear is a consequence of your inability to manage the nature of your intellect. See, your life's experience is happening this way. These are three dimensions. There is something called as memory, which feeds you all the time. Memory is not just what you remember. You don't remember ten generations ago how your great-great-grandmother looked, do you? You don't, but her nose is sitting on your face, yes or no? You have genetic memory, you have evolutionary memory, you have karmic memory, articulate and inarticulate levels of memory. The, this entire thing is memory, head to toe. Every cell in the body is memory, isn't it? We can take one cell and create the whole of you and that's how your parents also did, just one cell and see, you become like this. So there is enormous amount of memory in this. This memory rules certain things. But there is a present experience, memory is of the past, but the present is of experience, your ability to experience. If you want to experience anything, you must be conscious, you must be aware, only then you can experience. The future is an imagination. So memory, experience and imagination, it is between these three dimensions in which you exist. Memory you cannot change because it's already there. Present, you don't have to change because that is also here right now. It's only the imagination which you can change. So what are you fearful about? Something that will happen or you think will happen, isn't it? Fear is always about something which does not exist right now, it's always about what will happen. So you are suffering that which does not exist. Your only comfort is everybody is in the same state. That's how it is in asylum usually. Everybody is in the same condition, but right now people are in this condition simply because in your education system, <laughs> you are studying about everything except how to manage this. If you do not know how to manage this, it doesn't matter how much nonsensical information you have gathered, it'll be not of much use to your life. You must know how to keep this, how to conduct this body, how to conduct this mind, how to come at, conduct this emotional structure and the energy structure. If you do not know anything about this, then you are an accidental being. You being fearful is good, otherwise you may cause enormous harm to yourself. So your fear… your fear is always about that which does not exist. You cannot fight or you cannot overcome that which does not exist. We can overcome something that exists. You cannot overcome that which does not exist. You just have to give up that effort. Enjoy the fear. After all, it's your making. You like horror movies. Yes, uh, I mean, you're saying no, but you, you're producing them. It's just they're not making money, that's all. <laughs> fear means you're producing horror movies in your mind. Nobody else is willing to watch, that's bad for the producer. But you're producing them. So, you produce something else. Produce a comedy, a love story, suspense, thriller. Try and see today, just sit down, produce a love story, a suspense thriller, a comedy. Five, five minutes mo movies you make in your mind, really. Start using your mind differently. It's just gotten into your pattern. Just gotten into your pattern of just creating horror movies all the time. You have watched enough horror movies, they're boring. Create something else. <laughs> Even… it's not that if you produce these movies, those things will happen in your life. Still they may not happen, at least you enjoy the movie. <laughs> In reality, it may not happen, so what? At least you enjoy what's happening in your mind, if you cannot enjoy what's happening in the world, isn't it? That much privilege every human being deserves, isn't it so? Even if the world is not kind to him, at least his own mind should be kind to him, should produce some nice movies <laughs> Sadhguru says, fear means you're producing horror movies inside your mind. Only you can decide what scares you. Fear cannot be taught. 
Since the source of our anxiety is our imagination, we have to realize that there is little to no chance that all our imaginings will come alive and haunt us. To watch more from Satguru, click on the link shown on the screen right now. Support us by sharing your thoughts and feedback in the comments section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video, and thank you for watching.